Wow, that's pretty wild. That's a lot of miles. Anyway, I am going to stop for the whole research today, and I got to, like, catch up on um, hygiene, get my feet done, because there's not <clears throat> a shower facility at the fairgrounds. I, I'm dumbfounded about that one. Like, Peonia, Colorado. It's got a shower at its fairgrounds. And how is only... The Catholic Outreach got a shower facility. Well, it's a nice day out today. No, well, it's going actually pretty decent. Except for my phone. Definitely quit using it for off-road purposes. Messing with my focus. I have to get like used to manually focusing it anyway city market like has these three ideal trees for shading right in the middle of the day so pretty much for like three hours I gotta chill here then I can go back over to the library and actually go behind the library and catch the shade of the building. Anyway, as I was coming out from City Market, because I went in to go see if they had any of these Gatorade packs, and they don't, they've got uh, uh, Propel packs, which seem to be about equivalent. And the cool thing about the Gatorade one, I only had a look use like half the pack it's so rich and it says 16 ounces yeah 16.9 fluid ounces of water so that's a great flavor but yeah city market's got the propel packs and some gals had a stand up for the Latimer house for 700 care packs this e Easter. I couldn't help him at the time for a donation, but just asked for the information so later on I can follow up on that and since I'm using that trial period software I've got to learn to give plenty extra space on the bottom yeah and for the general public so they know like the Latimer house basically from my understanding it was primarily a female program so that's not just combined teens. That's just female youths. I had to go there once to get some kind of understanding about these civil protection orders. And um, yeah, they were just basically handing out a basic court form to kind of fill it out. So I prefer them not to get in trouble by doing such service because that is more of a pro bono attorney job and it should be subcontracted out to them because it's extremely complicated and over four years into it yeah she may have to go somewhere like this or um, what's the other um, there's a mental health uh, facility here in town uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's the same facility that she thought it'd be smart to institutionalize and retaliate against our daughter, so taste of her own medicine be a good starter because the court's going to want some answers for sure. What's her mental problem? Oh, uh, Mind Springs is the facility. And I have, haven't heard really 
good or bad about them. It's, I've heard both. So, um, definitely an issue of them taking my daughter in without a doctor's referral. So, I want to be a little bit more wiser on it because um, the court or a professional person, PD, stuff like that, um, they could take her to Mind Springs. Um, and there, that would probably be the best place <clears throat> to give her time to read the court orders, talk with the staff member, make sure she understands the court orders, because um, she's failed to comply for four years. By the time it's done, it's probably going to be five years. It's just networking all the correct entities that have to be involved now. Reverse the divorce decree per the protection order. And in its current format, it, I don't see any law enforcement being able to interpret it properly. So I have to go through it, find, comb, underline, highlight, and put a video together for it and resubmit it to the court. But because she's in city jurisdiction, I'm going to put it through the city first and then they can have it second uh, by the district court that issued it. So then the district court knows the venue is being transferred to the city. Um, and there's a, a law that attaches to that, but that's that specific law is probably why District 21 messed up and created a combined court is because they misinterpreted the law of how uh, criminal protection orders work versus civil protection orders. The district court has any divorce related civil protection case, period. The county has no jurisdiction over it, but the wording in the legislation, they didn't define the difference between a civil and protection order, so this county's just totally blown it. So there's a lot to it. It's not just a simple, go see my kids, go back home. I have to literally bring her back into reality, but I have to do the courts first. So yeah, it's, it's a nightmare. But what I want to put together is basically a Wi-Fi map listing. Um, Cause that, that'll help tremendously. Uh, unfortunately, it's a main utility that pretty much will dictate a lot of my time in the next year just to stay in constant communication and contact via email because um, I don't have data on my phone I had it but the Nokia didn't work and take it for a little bit so I'm not gonna even worry about getting it that's just more of an expense right now I can't afford lacking a permanent residency so in the court I'm sure the district court thinks they, the magistrate reviewed it uh, more than once. It's not even allowed to review his own order, but that's just how chaotic uh, the court clerks are at following rules. And same thing with the magistrate. But because he put a hundred yard restriction on there, that in itself is what will catch law enforcement as a no contact provision on a form that says no contact when it's supposed to say contacting protected parties. So it screwed up, excuse my language, all the way up to the Colorado Supreme Court. Um, and doesn't seem like it matters to this administra uh, administrator here at the district court. I've emailed several times and doesn't respond. So um, that's gonna be a hard, racketeering scam to break so basically what I'm saying on changing the venue having the city review the last civil protection order and propose to them from my experience my study and referencing to law basically I'll have to create my own mock form to explain the fra fraudulent form form so essentially I'll be doing the Judicial Department Form Committee's job um, and striking out some of the criminal protection order provisions that they put in the civil protection stuff that probably is the likely thing that's confusing clerks the difference between a criminal protection order and a civil one. 
in the district court, district 21 court, it's the clerks, magistrates, the judges, all in whole. I mean, from my case, it's amazing what they pulled off. But they continuously fail to review the record and they don't even ask questions most of the, most of the time. For example, there's not even contact information of a phone number for her. So I have to use a third party. Uh, they basically still turn the divorce case into a criminal case just because they don't follow normal procedures at all. And there's a whole list of them for them to follow and check and ask questions. And they don't. They just, they're spitballing like no other. Oh, and correction, it was actually the family dollar that I got this turkey pan basically I'm going to use. It's a one-time use. Let's see, and it looks like we're in the 60s. 63, huh? Oh, so I come back over here behind the library and it looks like yeah, I probably still got a good hour before I get into it. But it's not like 70, 80 degrees yet, so um, I guess I'd look at the time. So I'm still trying to get a feel for the shaded time periods and where. Then I don't want to wait until like I'm sitting here in the shade too long because um, once I put that cold that warm water or hot water and some cold water to get it lukewarm in that pan I'm not gonna have like a whole long before it starts getting cold sitting in the shade so oh man that suit that Carhartt suit did a number on my seat that's for sure It's got better material than my car seat. So anyway, for this rehealing basically my feet, uh, just a basic shampoo while I soak them. And a, a foot towel, washcloth, whatever. And I think I got that one at Walmart in like a little pedicure kit. Socks. Hot water in the Stanley container. I think this one's a Stanley too. I'm not sure. Um, uh, nope. And this one's just got my cold drinking water in it so I can make it look warm. Because what came out of the coffee pot, that's smoking hot. No, I've never done this before. I usually just scrub them in the shower, but when you go that long and walk that much without a shower, it's not a pretty sight. And it's only bottom of my feet that I have to really soak and scrub so and that's the hot water it just mixes the uh, body soap <clears throat> basically now cool it down and then jump on in the seat all right almost there got the cold water in there It'll get dumped basically right down in that drain. Crazy thing is, is that Meridian Park over there, out of the two intersections, it only has two drains for the whole block. They really did a horrible job on this. That's basically it. Get that soaked as much as I can so it scrubs off. And... It's 
six messages. Hey. So I didn't end up plugging up this. That's good. Because that sucker gets very stinky if it gets plugged up. Just got them all scrubbed up as best as I can. So now I'll just dry them off and see how well I did, I guess. did pretty good like when you get too low with that kind of coarse of a brush like here's hard to do because it tickles way too much but it digs down into that <clears throat> pretty good and gets that callus over there so that's pretty pretty decent for doing it in the car and that one's going to be more complicated to dry off. Well, it came out pretty decent, but looks like I might have to actually go to the doctor because I might actually have like a little rock in there. See, it's that one spot that's it's pretty dang tender, like, like the bone trying to poke through it. Or Let me see, I probably got a rock that I forced through there. It's happened once before, but I was a kid and it went in my big toe and they had to freeze it out with liquid nitrogen. Oh, that's, that's brutality. Oh, that wasn't, wasn't too bad at all. Now I'll dig out the toenails tonight, but now it feels like a brand new pair of shoes real nice and soft and these ones have a, a pretty thick like memory foam in the bottom of them so I haven't even had to break into my gel uh, liner yet oh actually that's what I was gonna show you absolutely disgusting trying to figure out how to use them Gotta mix them with something. It's like nasty. Just like like dog food or cat food. <laughs> 